welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for deciding to click on today's video. It is going to be a full face of first impressions, almost a full face. I have on here a bunch of stuff that I've gotten recently in PR, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a full face using these products. A few of the things we'll be trying out today, I have this blush balm palette from Carity. I have this eyeshadow palette actually from a new brand called Joa Beauty. I have something from Tattoo Junkie. We have a couple Lancome products, Rimmel, and some iconic London lashes and a couple of other things. So if you guys are ready to see this full face, almost full face of first impressions, go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> I've actually already applied my foundation, concealer, and powder, also my brows, and I have a tiny bit of mascara on. I know it seems like I have a lot on, but I had a meeting that I had to go to this morning, so I kind of did like a very minimalistic look, and I still wanted to be able to try out some of these products, and I didn't really have a new foundation or a new concealer or anything like that to try out, so I thought this would be a good time to just do all that first, so that way we don't waste a bunch of time doing those things. So let's go ahead and start with the first impressions after that. I'm gonna first start with this new palette from Joa. This is a brand new K-Beauty inspired brand that is a more affordable brand that's gonna be sold at CVS exclusively. And here is the palette I'm gonna be using. This is the Birthday Suit Eyeshadow Palette. And it just looks really, really pretty. Super like warm toned, neutral palette. And when I swatch this, it just looked really nice. So I'm excited to be able to try this one out on the eyes. So that is what I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna start with the eyes. I'm gonna hope this mascara doesn't really get in my way, but I think we should be good. I'm just gonna start with some Tarte Shape Tape and use that to prep my lids for the shadow that we're gonna apply. I feel like doing this with mascara on already is a little bit difficult. Also, they're doing construction again for the hundredth time. They're doing it now across the street again, so it's just been really loud. And it also just, it, I don't know, I'm just getting sick and tired of it. I know that that's what you sign up for when you like build a new home and the sub isn't finished, but it just, the pounding like daily is, it's just getting to me, so I'm ready for those houses to just be done. <laughs> At least on my street, to where I can't hear the pounding every day because after a while, like when you have things on, you know, you're on your phone or you're on TV or something or you're doing something, it doesn't seem as loud. But when I sit down and I try and film, it's all I can hear and it's so, so frustrating. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the palette. I'm gonna go into the shade right here, Cappuccino, and that's the one I'm gonna place into my crease. I'm just gonna be using my Morphe M433 brush. I'm just gonna place this first shade into my crease. I actually did not end up setting my concealer first, so we'll see how it blends here. I do see like a tiny bit of shimmer, it looks like in this color, nothing crazy, just like a tiny, tiny bit of shimmer. I cannot believe that we are almost into freaking November. Like, where did October go? I do not understand. I feel like the older I get, the faster time goes, and I just want to slow it down. Like, sometimes, you know, I just, I'm not ready. Like, I love Christmas. I love all the holiday things, but I was in Home Goods the other day, and there was so much Christmas stuff. I went to look for Halloween decorations because we're having a Halloween party. And I was like, I want pumpkins and stuff. And there was like this tiny little aisle of Halloween stuff and mostly everything was Christmas. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Like we still have a few more weeks. Don't bring out Christmas yet. And then I proceeded to purchase two Christmas things. So did I really mean that? No, but I just feel like, I don't know, this year has just went by so, so quickly. It's so wild. So I feel like that color actually blended really, really nicely into the crease. I think we're having a little patch right here but I think that that actually looks really, really good. So the next color I wanna go into is this one right here. It's called Upbeat, and that one looks like it has a little bit of shimmer to it as well, so we'll see how that one performs in the crease. These do have a little bit of kickback in the pan, and also when you apply them on the brush, like they seem like they're really pigmented, so definitely make sure you tap off your brush. But I'm just gonna work this shade into my crease again. I feel like that shade again blended really nicely, especially with that first shade together. I think they look really, really pretty together. And I'm just kind of living for the whole fall look since we don't really have that much more time 
to kind of get in like those bronzy looks obviously you can do them all the time but like those super fall like orangey bronzy looks I just want to do all of them before I feel like I want to get into like the Christmassy glitters and things like that so I just I've been in love with like bronzy looks lately Okay, so now we've blended both of those shades. I'm going to go in with a shimmer. So I'm going to go into the shade Please, which is like this orangey copper shade. And I actually just looked up this palette because I wanted to know the price point on it. So it is $9.99. So it's definitely an affordable palette. There's not too many shades in here, but so far the quality of this palette seems really nice. I'm just picking it up on an E25 brush from Carity. And the only thing is it doesn't have a mirror, so I have to keep kind of switching back to this compact right here and I'm going to tap this shade onto the lid I'm working up because I don't I'm worried about fallout with the shade to be honest so if I kind of go up sometimes and like initially pack it then go this way I feel like it helps with getting fallout so far this shade also is looking good I'm liking the way these are all blending together like they don't look harsh at all and all three of them just look really go really nicely together that's what I like about smaller palettes sometimes is I feel like you know what color story you want to use. You don't have to like think about putting colors together like they all kind of mesh. I didn't wet my brush or anything before applying this shimmer so I feel like if you even wetted your brush it would probably look a lot more foiled. But I'm actually not mad at the pigment at all for that shimmer. I think it's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to dust away the fallout here. And I'm going to go in with an inner corner shade. And for that, I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is called Whipped Cream. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop that shade on to my inner corner. And this shade has a lot of fallout when you grab it in the pan. So just be careful. It's like really powdery. And I don't know if that's like exactly what I was going for. It seems a little sheer. I might have to come back in with like a highlight in a little bit, like the highlight that we use and pop that on instead. But I do really like how simple this eyeshadow look turned out. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did on the top to my lower lash line and then I'll be right back. Alright, so now that we're back, I really want to try out this Kajal. This is from Lancome and this is an Ombre Hypnosis Kajal. Kajal, I think I'm saying that right. And here's what it looks like. And it's basically just going to be like a gel liner that you can use for your waterline. But this is like a brown taupey shade. And I want to try this in my waterline and then also apply it a bit to my top lash line as well. So I don't really see that that's really sticking too well to my waterline. I'm going to, yeah, okay. It is coming off on my swatch. So this might be a more of a liner that would work better just to kind of like smoke out your lower lash line as opposed to putting in your waterline because I don't really see it sticking there much. So now I'm going to take it and I'm just going to smudge it here on this outer corner just a tiny, tiny bit just to kind of smudge it out a little. And I don't know that this is like my favorite formula of life because I feel like this is a little bit hard to use. I don't really see it like popping up much. I did get a black one as well that was a part of this fall collection. So I might try the black one and see if we have better luck with that one. So next I really want to try out these lashes from Iconic London and here's what they look like. They're definitely pretty dramatic but I think they'll look pretty on like a simple eye look like this just to kind of like bump it up a bit. I am going to apply these off camera because I hate applying lashes on camera. If you guys do want to see like a how to apply false lash video I could definitely do that but for now I'm just going to apply these and I'll be right back. So the lashes are on. That was a bit of a struggle. I kind of feel like these ones I don't know so I don't know if they gave me like two of the same lash or what but I feel like both of them kind of taper at the end and then get fuller as they come in on both sides so it didn't really have like normally like in the front you have like shorter lashes and then it goes longer this was kind of like short on the ends like both ends so I don't know if I got like two of the same lash or what they're feeling a little bit heavy but I think all over like they look pretty nice I don't have a new bronzer to try out so I'm just going to be using the hula bronzer from benefit 
And then we're gonna go ahead and get into those blush palettes from Carity, which I'm really excited to try out. People always ask me what is the thing I couldn't live without in my makeup routine, and I swear that two of the things would be mascara and bronzer because I feel like it makes such a difference. So now we are going in with the Blush Balm Palette from Carity, and here is what it looks like. I chose this one because I think it's really pretty and really different, and I forgot that these had a highlight in there. So I want to use this one from Tattoo Junkie. This is the Glow Light Unicorn. Maybe I'll use this just like on my nose or for an inner corner highlight. I really want to try out the highlight in this palette as well. So inside this palette we have a matte blush and then also like a shimmery blush and then the highlight. So I'm going to start with the matte blush which is like this orangey color. I'm slightly concerned that this is going to be really orange. So I'm really going to tap off my brush and go in with like a really, really light hand and see how it looks on the cheeks. Okay, that's not too crazy. I was really nervous that it was going to be like really orange. But I think because we dusted a lot of it away... Well, I can see like a slight tint. Let me add a little more. Again, I don't want to go too crazy, so. All right, so now that we've got the matte blush on, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the little topper here. And I'm just gonna add a tiny, tiny bit of that. I'm gonna put a little on my hand first and just add a little bit of that right on top. I'm going heavy with the blush. I've been doing that a bunch lately because I've just been really into blushes. So with the topper, I feel like that gave it like gave it like a tiny bit of shine. You can see like a little bit of glisten and we have so much blush on our face right now. I'm gonna go in with a clean brush and kind of like dust that away a little bit. Literally you guys, my desk is so dirty. It was a struggle to even find like a clean face brush. So I'm just gonna kind of blend that out a little further because right now we're looking a little bit like we have a little too much blush on. I don't know if there's ever such thing, but we kind of look like we have a lot on. Maybe I shouldn't have went in with that second layer. <laughs> so next let's do the highlight from the palette. This one is called Perf. And I'm just going to pick this up on my Morphe M501 brush. And I don't think I've ever tried a highlight from Carity, so this will be my first time. Let's see what this one looks like. Definitely a very pigmented highlight. Looks very, very stunning. I'm getting a little bit of texture right here on my cheeks, so it's kind of not looking the best on there, but I actually really like the color, especially mixed with that blush. Looks like they did a good job like of picking these colors to really complement each other. So I'm just gonna go in with my sponge and just kind of go over everything we did and just kind of make sure it's all melted into the skin, especially with the texture I do have right now. I just wanna make sure that it doesn't kind of sit right here on my cheekbones. I'm gonna add a little bit of the Morphe Setting Mist. So I still really wanna try this palette. This is from Tattoo Junkie. This is called the Glow Light Palette. And I've actually never tried anything from them, which is why I really wanna try this one out. Kind of looks like more of an iridescent palette like now that I've had it open though. So I think I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm gonna use that one on the inner corner. We'll see how it looks. I don't know if this is gonna really match the look that well, but hopefully it looks okay. Okay, it's definitely a lot more blinding than that first one I tried from the Joa palette. Kind of the more look of a more glowy inner corner that I was going for. I don't know that I really loved like the hint of purple with this look, but definitely wanted something more bright. What the heck, let's add a little bit. I'm gonna top this on my cheekbones just a tiny bit, like right here on the highest points. Yeah, that's really pretty, just to kind of have it match with our nose highlight now. All right, so to finish this look off, I'm gonna move on to two different lip products. So the first one is from the Lancome, I can never pronounce this, the Proenza Shola line, and this is their fall line. This is also the Kai Gile that I used. And here's what this lipstick looks like. It's just a really pretty nude shade. So I'm first gonna go in with this and then I'm gonna finish it with a Rimmel London Gloss. My lips are a little dry right now, so we'll see how this applies. This actually also has a good smell to it as well. So 
So I was afraid of that. It kind of just emphasized a lot of the dryness I have going on on my lips right now. And so I don't know if this was the best option. That's why I want to go ahead and go over it with the gloss because I think anything right now just doesn't look the best on my lips. The formula of this feels very like wet, almost like a gloss on its own. So that's kind of an interesting feeling. It kind of feels more like, like a lip balm. So next I'm going to apply this gloss from Rimmel London. This is the Halo There. That's a cute name and it's the Stay Glossy Lip. And just see if this helps at all. I'm just going to apply this right over top of the lipstick. So that gloss actually feels really nice on. It does feel like a little bit like sticky almost, like a little too sticky for my liking, but I bet it'll dry down. It kind of looks pretty on top of that because it's a little bit more like iridescent. But after that, this is going to be our final look using all of these new products we got to try out today. So let's go ahead and walk through everything that we tried. See how it's like gooping? Mm, I hate it when glosses do that. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about the Birthday Suit Palette from Joa Beauty. I really, really liked this. I think that it performs really nicely. For the price, I don't think $10 is bad. I thought the quality of the shadows was really nice. The only one that I didn't love was this whipped cream shade. And again, that could have just been because we were putting it on the inner corner. But even when I swatch it, it does look like a little bit sheer. So I don't think that this is the best for the inner corner, but I bet it would look pretty just like lightly topped over the lid. But I do really, really like the way that this eyeshadow look came out and I thought the palette performed really nicely. Next from Lancome, we used this Ombre Hypnosis Kajal and I didn't really like this that much at all. I think that it was really hard to apply like to the um, lash line, like the upper lash line. I just didn't really love how it applied. It kind of went on like a little bit rough. And then also on the waterline, I didn't really feel like it showed up at all. So I think this would be best just kind of like running it on your lower lash line, like not in your waterline, but kind of just like right on the edge and kind of like smoking it out. I think it would be nice for that. There's also a black one, so I'm definitely gonna keep trying this out, but it just wasn't my favorite for what I was trying to do, like putting it in the waterline. As far as the lashes go, I do really like the way they look on the eyes. Um, I will say they feel a little bit uncomfortable, I think, that is because they're poking on like the inner corner part of my eye because they are so like you know they're not really rounded they're just so flat I think that that's why they're kind of poking but I think they actually look really really nice they look very dramatic but not too dramatic the blush palette from Carity was definitely a hit. I did really like it. I do think that our blush is a little intense, but I don't mind that because blush I feel like kind of disappears throughout the day. And I think that the colors that they chose for this were really nice. I also enjoyed the highlight a lot. Love how compact this is. So I think this is definitely something I'm going to be reaching for more. And then we also tried out from Tattoo Junkie the Glow Light. And I think that this one was really, really pretty. I want to go ahead and swatch the shade that I did put on my face so you guys can see what it looks like because I thought it looked really purple in the pan but when you kind of swatch it it doesn't look as purple and even on my face like there's a tiny hint of like pink in there but it's nothing too like unwearable so I definitely want to try out the other shades and see if they look as like iridescent on as they do in the pans but I thought this was really pigmented I thought it's really pretty on the inner corner as well now for the lip combo. I don't know that I loved this one from Lancome either. I This is in Chroma. I don't know if I told you guys the shade, but I think it has a lot to do with the dryness I have on my lips right now. So I'm definitely gonna continue to try this out. I do like the shade of it. I just think that the formula right now on my lips right now with them being dry and kind of cracked, it just doesn't look the most flattering. As far as the gloss goes, I think it smells really good and I just don't love how like sticky it was when I first applied it. Right now it's dried down pretty good. It still feels like a little bit gritty on my lips, but it doesn't really bother me. I think that these are super affordable and I think it's a pretty color, especially like just to top over something, just to give it a little something extra. But after that, that is going to do it for today's video on trying some new makeup products. I always choose these items based upon the comment section of my PR unboxings and hauls and things that you guys want to see me talk about. A lot of you mentioned you want to see some of these products in use, so that is what I did in today's video. Make sure to watch my PR unboxings and make sure to comment in there and let me know what products you guys want to see in my next first impressions. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you guys go, and I'll see you in my next video. Hello.